Saturday, August 21st is World Entrepreneur Day. This is a day to celebrate entrepreneurship and innovation throughout the world. To honor this day, I interviewed two Hub members, mother and daughter team, Anne and Angela, who founded the company Travel That Matters. Through the course of this brief conversation, we will talk about impact travel and how to think about your next vacation a little differently, how to open yourself up and see the world and hopefully help other entrepreneurs in that process. Uh, hi, I'm Ann Barry, and I'm the co-owner and co-founder of Travel That Matters with my lovely daughter, Angela. And we have a boutique agency that specializes in immersive and expedition style small group land travel and when we first started now almost eight years ago we actually were a tour operator taking small groups of women to of all places Nicaragua and that's where we got the bug for being really in the immersive culturally uh, focused kind of travel we love it it's where we have the best experiences so it's evolved into now being a travel agency and once things begin to stabilize, we are ready, can't wait to get out there and help people see the world. But we always try to weave in sort of a sustainability awareness, um, like just little things that you can do that maybe you didn't think about that, that in your daily life, you might have started adopting little practices to be more thoughtful about your purchases and, and where you give your money and who you're supporting. And so we, we try to, educate people and give them opportunities to do that while they're traveling. And, and sometimes I think people think that like, oh, well, you know, now it's, it's all about, it's like philanthropy and it's a, it's a volunteering and it's work. <laughs> and actually you can have a very normal vacation that is still very thoughtful. In that theme of World Entrepreneur Day, do you have an eye to uh, supporting local uh, small businesses? Well, one of the things that I think is paramount in us looking at just even something as simple as accommodations is we want to be helping those boutique hotels that are owned by a family or someone who is an entrepreneur in the local community. And then there are actually many new partners that have come up that it's one of calls tour with locals. And so these are guides that really, really know their destination. And we have ways to connect with them so that we are actually learning from someone who knows their destination and is supporting them as a small business owner or as an entrepreneur. So we're always on the lookout as well are some of our favorite suppliers on making those connections to make sure that the local community is benefiting from the traveler being there and can expand and help grow their business and then more perhaps come along because they can take that as a model. So the entrepreneurship is really something we like to connect to to make sure that the traveler's dollars are going to those people. I mean, there's one company that they're super transparent about how much of their dollars go to the local economy. And they have a, a certain threshold of like what what amount of their their budget or whatever is supposed to go to the locals and not to anybody else. We have, uh, again, our favorite travel partners who actually have philanthropic arms of their company. And so when they take a group to the destinations that they specialize in, they already have a built-in network so that you know it's vetted. You know that if you go and visit that place, that if you're spending money, that actually is going to that organization and doing good. And there are more and more travel partners who are stepping up to that. So it, it's really pretty easy now to have, you know, it's not necessarily your whole vacation, but in certain locations to be able to go and see a project that is really making a difference. And you don't necessarily even take time to volunteer there, but you're actually seeing what's happening with the dollars that are being contributed, which I think is that just touch of seeing it personally that then makes a difference. And when you're visiting, um, say Africa, the conservation programs that they have, I think then as you see what's happening, if you so choose, then when you're back home, those may be the places you want to spend your philanthropic dollars. 
because you've actually seen it and experienced it. I've been to 26 countries and I literally have an additional 40 plus on my, my bucket list. And when I travel, I like to eat street food. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not the sandals <laughs> lay on the beach kind of girl. I'm more like the backpack girl. Angela, how many, how many countries have you been to? But it's, okay. it's more than 20 and less than 30 at the moment. And, okay. and, like, and like you, I, there's so many places, like I had all these places on my list and then I learn about someplace new. Like I went to Cambodia and that was never on my list and, and everyone should go to Cambodia. <laughs> I agree. I've been to Angkor Wat as well. It's amazing. Yeah. And so many people don't even know about Angkor Wat, right? Yeah, um, exactly. But I mean, like, you know, Antarctica is huge on the list. Yeah. Both my mom and I really want to go to Egypt. We haven't been there yet. The Galapagos is huge on my list right now. And a little side note here, um, in the Galapagos, most of the people are vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So it is actually a really good destination right now for people to go because you as a traveler are not potentially putting people at risk. Yeah. And which is a big thing that we've been struggling with during the COVID situation is how do we explore the world in a way that we're not putting other people at risk? Anne, do you have a count on your countries? Well, it's interesting. I do know the answer to that question because I was filling out a survey that asked me that very question. <laughs> so I'm also at 26. And as Angela said, those are on my list as well. And then some just like kind of really off the wall kinds of places. I really want to go to Tasmania and Madagascar. <laughs>